this video for you. It's way better. I think it looks better. So I'm gonna call it. Go straight, my heart. Go straight, you go straight. Hello. Hello. I see you. Huh? What is that idea? My goodness. No, it's audios. It says it's reconnecting. It's not working. Really? Yeah, me hear. Did it's reconnecting. Did you type the number in correctly? Yes. He's on. It's just it's reconnecting. That's what it does every time. Are you sure it's okay on his end? Is he like on FaceTime? Yeah, no. No, he's not. Now let's hope that this time it will last longer. Okay. The video is still a little muddy. I can still see. Kind of. You look cool. Did you cut your hair? Yeah, I did. Alright. Yeah. All right. We sent you a text. Oh, yeah. Hi, Eugene. I got it. Hi. Oh. Did you listen to it? Yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Oh, good. Are you okay? You look tired. I'm very, very tired. And I just came from lunch with my daughter in Lafayette. She turned 18 today. Oh. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm all right, whatever it is. So... Are you tuned up? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's do a scale and then I want to hear your pieces and maybe we could start seeing the ballet. Okay. Trying to turn it up. That's yeah, the size. Yeah, people recorded recorded the open E string on the violin on the tape, right? And then they cut the beginning and they cut the end off, and then they looped it, and they played this recording for a couple of minutes for judges on the competition. And <laughs> the way the competition works. 
they look at the violins with the names of the makers covered, just the number, right? Right. And then they listen to those violins played by professional musicians from behind the curtain, different stuff for a long time they listen. And they combine together the craftsmanship and the tone, right? So they are specifically trained people to listen to the sound from behind the curtain and analyze it. Guess what? None of those people recognized that it was violin. Right. But, you know, I under, I mean, I don't play violin, but, you know, she could do a Russian shift and, and it would be easy, right? But you hear the... What I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to say that there is really no such a thing as absolute perfect right. thing on the violin. Because as we try to perfect our technique, people actually enjoy the imperfection because the change of the bow, the slight slide on the shaft, vibrata, bending the intonation, many of the things that we do on violin naturally, they create the nature of the violin, something yes. that people like the violin for, you understand? Yes, However, but I also I see that it's much improved for sure anyway. But uh, still, I wasn't sure exactly what you are looking for since you're the teacher, you know? Yeah. So you have to try not to hide, but you have to also try to get rid of. Do you understand? We yeah. try to get rid of uh, the max noise. We go... Yeah. It's not absolute silence, but I would not. Uh, I would not do that. Right. I would just go one way, another way, and then. Uh, and I place my fingers, trying to use the string. Uh, uh, I mean, the the bow changes as a place and the time when I can jump. And when I can, you go... Right before the time, I start shifting and I shift light and fast. And yes, in my way, there is a tiny little bit more glissando than what you do. But there are never stop of the sound. Uh -huh. Okay? And when you play different style of the music, like, you know, for romantic music, you can allow a little bit more. And for the classical and Baroque, obviously, you allow a little less. And it's hard to explain when the glissando sounds good and when the glissando sounds bad. And that's so like so should we call this a Polish shift then? <laughs> <laughs> no, but when we work on Cindy Ballet, Cindy Ballet is a very unique piece of music. Some people don't like it, but most of the time it's the people who can't play it. Mm -hmm. right? And it is very expressive, it's very passionate, it's also very, very elegant. That's why the ballet, it's not the scene of battlefield or sumo fighting, right? right. It's ballet, it's, it's beautiful and it's mm -hmm. very, very clear. And there are lots and lots of slides there, but yeah. some of the slides that you will play, oh. I would mm -hmm. say no. I and see. some of them I can explain, and some of them I really cannot explain. I don't know why they sound bad. It's just over the many, many generations, people realize that certain things are good because listener reacts positively. People get emotional about your things. Oh, Ella, she's so romantic. And some, ugh, who's her teacher? Why, why the hell is she sliding all over the place like a cow on ice? Do you understand? Yeah. People don't necessarily even understand what's going on, but they feel it. So we will avoid those. Let's move on. Go the, the broken thirds for me.
actually like you to do the same thing and I would like you to uh, use the same speed of the bow but use the whole bow and you may not be able to reach the tip of the bow because your arms may not be long enough but anybody should be able to play at the frog right mm -hmm. go <laughs>
absolutely no difference in the sound whether I was here, 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 or anywhere. Absolutely none. I know that when you're young and sassy, it's probably boring. But for me, it's actually a very, very meditative exercise, and I am proud that I can play absolutely perfectly the same sound. Same speed, same vibrations, nothing. There's no squeak, no bubbles, nothing. Can you try to play, try to play one note like this? Just be the judge. I probably won't be able to hear uh, it well over Zoom, but try. Just open stream. Uh... Very good. This is very impressive, and you sustain it very long and beautiful. But I, you probably heard that there was like a woo, a woo, a right? Like a little coyote song there, right? I don't have the coyote song. So if you practice, don't do it too much, but spend a minute a day just trying different notes or different open strings. Sometimes actual closed notes with perhaps a very steady vibrato and just going absolutely steady. So nothing breaks. Why is that important? Because we keep on changing things and if we're supposed to be changing things like shape the phrase, change the vibrato, change the speed of the bow, change the pressure, whatever. Because we feel that way, because we want that way and not because if we simply could not hold on. Do you understand? Yeah. It's called disability phrasing. If you are not strong to maintain the sound and you make like a happy accident losing the sound where it kind of sounds cool oh yeah that sounds really nice let's do it that way on stage and yeah maybe it's not bad but can you do something else and if you play in the orchestra or god forbid in a string quartet and you ask can you do it this way or that way oh no i can only do this way because i suck <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. So being able to play without changes, without any unnecessary stops and starts and vibrations. My teeth. Uh, being able to play without the changes is very, very high skill and very, very good exercise. And when you play this scale, I would combine both. I would combine that steady, 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 slow bow with really, 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 really clean left hand and not too fast. You will learn to play fast on other things, okay? Speaking of which, let's hear first arpeggio, the number five, which would be the minor. And I want it to be once in three, twice in nine, and twice in eighteen. There's notes in the bow? Yep. Wait, so six, then nine, then eighteen, or three, six, nine? Look. Once you play it right, like really slow, you're the...
have not done this. This mm -hmm. is your homework. I don't know when I will hear you next, probably in a year. <laughs> but this is what I really would like for you to learn. Do you understand? Also, when you play scales that start from B flat and going up, basically starting from the second finger, we usually use the standard fingering that Grimali created a long time ago. When we play scales that are not standard, which are G, A flat, A natural, right? Then we may have a few different varieties of the fingering. Are you un understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what I'm saying is that there are more than one version of the fingering when you play scales like this. In this particular scale that you do, you could invent your fingering if you hate the fingering in the book. I don't mind that. My only request is that you do not play stupid fingering, which means if you use the same finger for three notes, I would not accept this. And if you want to know mine, this is mine. I go here, then I shift, and I play one, and I shift again, one. Then I go four, one, now here's the trick. I tell myself, okay, Eugene, you are going home to the first position. See how fast and clean. And then, and then I finish in the first position. Instead of going up in the first position, I go on diagonal. So it's a shift, shift. In the same position, shift. Understood? This is mine. And I find myself very, very, very comfortable doing it. And whenever I see it, the, the G minor arpeggio run in, say, a symphony or a quartet, I don't practice it. I just run. You may want to experiment. You don't have to use my fingering or even the one in the book. You can come up with yours. And as long as you sound clean, beautiful, and connected, I honestly don't care. Okay? okay? But you have to be able to play when you play slow you can stop and fix because you want to be absolute perfection see when i play this i pay attention once again to every little split second i connect that bit left and i can i exaggerate but do you understand what i'm doing i play that note and i do and i release in reality, it will be shift and drop, camera. Very, very, very clean connection. Of course, it will not meow like this. It will be a... And see, no, no glissandos, right? Even here, it's clear. Listen very carefully. When you go on stage and your fingers are under impression that every time you play something fast with the slightest problem, they should stop, fix it, and then go on, you will crush on stage. Even if you are not perfect, you need to train yourself to just play through. Okay? Once you play through, you call yourself names. You say, hey, it was so awful, I played out of tune. Let's go back and fix it. And you fix it, and you play slow again, and then you play fast with no stop, hoping for the best. You relax and you fly like a wind. Understand? Mm -hmm. de Ballet is a very long piece of music, really, really long. And most of the people, even at the conservatory, make cuts I never do. I had a recital, when was it? Uh, on Monday. I had a recital on Monday, and I had actually two Cinder Ballets there. Do you remember uh, Oliver Spivey? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, hey Eugene, uh, when you get the tape of the recital, can we listen to everybody? Of course. Oliver played very, very well. He got lost in one place, got very silly face on, but then immediately found himself and played again, and he played beautifully. But of course, the brashiers nailed everybody dead with the double uh, cello Schubert Quintet. That was incredible. Anyway. Do you understand what to do with the scale? Yes. Right. So, in the situation, if I do not see you this year, which is entirely possible, uh, I want you to try to master this. Don't get frustrated. Don't scream at animals. Don't run around and drive your mama crazy, but try. Okay. Try to get as perfect as you can when you play slow and then light and fast like a lightning, non-stop flying when you go fast. The left hand is supposed to be light, strong, and no pressure. As soon as you use your thumb to press, you lost. Okay? okay. All right. So, especially for the, uh, the diminished and dominant seven chords, this is very important because they are all over the repertoire we need to be able to play them well and sometimes we get stuck okay good let's see your uh, etudes okay quick 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 i have the music right here if i can open it um On the Kreutzer, yeah. um, on the Kreutzer nine, last time you said you only wanted me to go up to the half note, but to get it like really fast, and I. And so did you get it really, really fast? I tried. Show me. Oh, okay. Your shaft was pretty good. Uh, you could look for more bounce, but you were playing probably like um. <laughs> So how about... Go ahead. Same tempo. Hey, the speed. That's the highest speed I've done. <laughs> I know. I've seen your video. I know, but when I was practicing... Uh, never mind. Go. shifted there. Before you play it and have some fun. No, 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 sorry, my iPad died. Uh, have fun. Okay. Uh, you played so well, though. I tried. FaceTime. I will hang out and I will connect on the iPad. I can see you better on that, okay? Okay. Oh, all right, he's gonna call me back, he says. Yeah, but have some fun. You know, you worked hard. Don't oh, worry if you make a mistake. It's a good chance to just keep going. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right, Darren? Darren, do you think of any good violin? Do I call him back? Because he's not calling me back. You can try that. It might take a minute. I tried to call you, but you didn't answer. Oh, well, it didn't ring. Strange. Anyway, I can see you now. I, I heard the very beginning, I, and then I lost it. Try one more time. I want to hear more.
try. listening to Christmas music. Ah, okay. Do you have a Spotify? Uh, yeah, I do. What's your favorite non-classical music, non-Christmas? Oh, no. I have a lot of those. Uh... Okay, let's not waste time, but okay. I want you to send me your, your favorites. I want to listen to them. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy non-classical music. I like rock and I like some of the pop music very much. So. Ooh, anyway. I know, I know. What? I know one. You know this one. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like it goes like the dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> My goodness gracious! Okay. <laughs> All right. So you are a rock girl. Not exactly. I just like that song. Okay. All right. So, uh, is that the only etude that you play, or you play more? That's the only kreuzer I'm playing, and I'm only and I'm also playing the other sub chick, which is the twenty seven. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, well, you play twenty seven, and what else? Uh, this is the kreuzer nine, and that's all I have. Uh, okay, no, you said another chef chick. You're only playing 27, right? Yes, I'm only playing 27, that's what I meant. And then I only okay, know. learn the whole thing uh, of 27 that way. Okay. Okay? And learn to bounce. You're okay. doing good. Okay, so let's hear your uh, concerto. You were going to speed it up for me, right? Yeah. And by the way, do you have the music for uh, Sim the Ballet? No. Ah. Okay. Ah. I have my little rabbit here. I have rabbit? Three, I have three rabbits over here. Show me. Oh gosh. Okay. I have one I have one like stuffed rabbit 
And then <laughs> I have and then I have two other rabbits down here. Pick one and show me. Oh gosh. Alright. Need to open this. Hello rabbits. I don't know which one to get. I'm just gonna get a random one. Here though. Hello. Come here. Hello. Oh my goodness. It's a rabbit. Oh my goodness, it is a rabbit. What's that rabbit's name? Bella. And then the other one is Benji. Right. Do they have a bite? Yeah. Really? <laughs> this one once bit my leg while I was trying to get the other one. Whoa. But she's not that violent anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, you can go back with your little friend. I'll let you hang out with your friend. All right, anyways. Okay, all right, let's hear your, your concerto, please. Okay.
right here. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I will, I will, I will talk to you just briefly. When you play for me the first solo, you sometimes do not vibrate the last notes of the phrase. And that makes it a little bit um, less powerful. I think that when you play it right now, and it, you know, it's not 100% that I can hear over the FaceTime, to me, it feels like you're playing maybe 85 to maybe 90% of your, um, your natural power that you would normally do. So you play kind of cautious a little bit. You can let yourself go. But you played incredibly clean. You played incredibly steady. A couple of places it felt almost like you were about to rush. Mm -hmm. I did not like that, but you didn't, you kind of regained control. It's almost like you go over the hill and you go downhill and you realize that your car is going 15 miles above the speed limit and so so crap, the cop when you need one, right? Especially now that I drive a different type of vehicle that doesn't know how to drive slow. Anyway, otherwise, your bow hold is perfection. The position of the fingers on the stick is perfection and the straightness and steadiness of the bow. That's what I was talking about. When you practice your scales, practice that perfection. So you don't have to practice this on the concertos. Okay? Okay. So, I would like for you to maybe put it away now, but come back to it maybe in like three weeks or so. And... Practice it slow and practice it at spots when I will see you live. I will work on it on the slightest, tiniest, littlest details and we will play it together. All right? But and you're coming, I, when are you coming to Texas? I don't know. <laughs> I almost flew there this weekend because Nikki got married this Sunday. Oh. oh. And she obviously really wanted me to come. We were connected together over the Zoom uh, through the whole thing and with her personally um, in her room up until literally one second before she went down the aisle. So I kind of virtually walked her down. Oh. But, but I would fly there, but there were three problems. First, I had a recital, right. which... I did not have for two years and too many people were way too excited about it to cancel it and I could not move anywhere. The other thing was, you know, we had this gigantic biotech symposium in San Francisco that was canceled because Moderna and Pfizer refused to send their people here because they did not want them to fly. Mm. It's not safe. And I personally think it's my duty and responsibility, especially as an educator, to fight the stupid virus rather than to spread it. And the most important thing is that her mother could not fly. And for me to be there and for her not to, I did not think it's appropriate. I, I can't really explain it, but I said that my house is open and I would fly them here, I would pick them up at the airport, drive them to the lake, create a ceremony so their mother could come and join us. And we would probably do something like that when it gets a little warmer. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, I am thinking about it. I'm thinking about flying and visiting. And also, I am a little cold. We have a ridiculously cold weather here. If you can imagine, it's supposed to snow in Lafayette this Wednesday. <laughs> it's like 100 years. I did not see a snow. But um, have you ever been to Corpus Christi? Yeah. yeah. Is it good? It's beautiful. It's really pretty, but it's um, it's very windy. Ah. And also, ah. the water is very... If you like to swim in the water, the water's not so clean. Yeah, it's not but, so clean, so you'd for, have to take a good shower. For me, it was okay, but for Ella, she got a little rash. 
oh wow mm -hmm. so i was thinking of going somewhere warm <laughs> but no i i guess i will go to hawaii then oh. anyway um but someday i will go there i'm sure there there are other things but you can go there. farther south to south padre island and it's not polluted there or you could go to really? Florida. yeah or you can go to florida the panhandle i really don't like florida <laughs> but you can uh, go to south padre island you know where the turtles go into the sea cool south padre island is that still texas yep south padre it's like uh one hour from corpus christi Two hours, maybe. Okay, I see South Padre. You I'm... fly into, I, I believe you can fly into South Padre, probably. It's like right next to Mexico. Right. Well, will I see Ella if I go to South Padre Island? Uh, sure. Okay. All right, so maybe. Maybe, and I really want to see the But kids. you know, it's, it's going to be 80 degrees here tomorrow. You are, you are putting salt on my, my wound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll I go, I will go away now. I'm driving yeah. the lake and it's going to probably snow at my lake house and it's definitely going to snow on my uh, mountain. Mountain Kanakta is going to have a steady snowfall. Mm. Which, you know, we don't see very often and it's exciting, but I really miss warmth. <laughs> anyway, uh, El Ella and Gretchen are pl playing for money at a church. They got, invi for you. They got invited to play Christmas Eve service. Yeah, $50 for three songs. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's very good. All right, yeah. now. We don't have very much time, but how can I send you the music, child? Uh, you can text it to me. Okay. Let's see if I can get there. Do 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 I know how uh -huh. to. I know how to. Kind swim. of like an X. Right? I, I know how to. I know. I know how to swim. Ella's a good swimmer. I swim every day. Oh, good. Uh, okay. Where do you swim? Uh, there's like uh three different indoor pools that I go to. Ah, They're really nice. Wonderful. I thought. I thought maybe you have some ocean there too. Oh. No, we are farther from the ocean. Okay. Okay, it was all the writing. Share. Now it's preparing. And this is very messy music because it's been used by so many people. Oh. But it's very helpful too. Okay. You're welcome to get the uh, clean music and, and market. But we'll start with this one. So I just texted it to your mom. Okay. I might take a second. And if you will open it in your iPad, we could start right away. Well, just give me a second. Are we only going to do like the first page or like? Well. You know, um, it's a long piece, mm -hmm. and if you could even get the first bar, it would be great. Not talking about the first page. Oh, right. But it is kind of hard. Oh, right. But do, do you, you, take your boat, do you, you don't have the uh, recital on tape yet, right? I need to check. I think Chris videotaped everything and sent the links. I just need to look. Okay, so we have it on the iPad and I'm going to print it also. Okay, Breaks then open it and look at the very, very beginning. Breaks by balance. Don't slap. Stay away <laughs> from... Okay, there are many, many things that 
you will have to learn. But you know that the chords have to be played with a fast bow and not too much pressure, right? So it's more like like you put here and you yeah. Can you play for me three open strings with the bow going perfectly straight? No, you your speed of the bow is too slow. And you press, you go like, and I want it. To... Oh gosh. Too, too shallow. Again, engage the weight of your arm, but don't press. You hold the bow very, very lightly and then go boom. A little bit longer. Longer on the string. I use more bow with the same speed. In other words, fast. That's better. Still longer. Good. Now find the first note and play for me. You're pressing, you're squeezing, and I'm brushing out. That's too slow. You go. I want. Eh, where's the vibrato? That's it. Now the next one is a clean octave. Right. The next chord is very, very hard, so you have to find this hard first finger and second finger. That's the fourth finger, and you go. Do not play long and heavy. Do not play. play. Yes! And then. So the idea is for you. Next 
next phrase is different. It's in the first position. You don't retake. You stay where you were. But the pickup is again 16, but then it's shorter. Look. It's a little shy. And then really, really emotional. You go. That's not 16 anymore. Miles plays the chord and then. And that phrase right here repeats three times. First time you play just simply mezzo forte. Second one you play pianissima and you go up on the D string. Make sure that you are not too close to the fingerboard you will hit different strings. Softly and the And that's where the main tune starts. And the piano plays ba 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 and it has to be rhythm Second fingers, so slide from this. 
Now, give that E something uniquely special. Don't just play it. Go and then love the G and love the D and then be cute about it. Before you do that, before you do this, 
You have to learn. You have to learn the chord. And then I'm oh, going So anyway, this is the ricochet part, and at the very end, at the bottom of that page, you have a crazy run. It's a cadenza, a little one. And I can play it, but you probably would not be able to... These are harmonic at the end. It's really not hard, but kids always suffer. So you need to really clearly find that and you need to really clearly time it. So you go and then play last one gentle. After that goes the page that is my favorite. Oh, and you can see how Miles plays with the kids. And it's just a... Miles goes... Here, you have the harmonic here, 
and then it tells you to go down in the first position, dog. You can get the same harmonic with the second finger on the E string. Uh, I will explain you. Pause, and now look very carefully. All your chef chicks, go to work. Look at my right hand. I'm placed, I'm flexible, I'm very, 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 very active. And I go... So you have reference to some extent. I did not play every note, but I played every style and every type and every melody there. Okay? Yeah. Normally, I give students one page at the time. And as you can see, it's very long. But you can start working a little bit from each page. Pick yourself a spot on each page. Master it. And present it to me. Don't be afraid to make total boos because you will learn so many new things that you cannot even imagine. It's very versatile, it's very expressive, it's very powerful, passionate, but also very, very crisp and elegant piece of music. Questions? No. Okay. I know that I don't see you next Thursday and I can't actually, I'm on stage all day. Ooh. I may be able to teach on Wednesday. So you'll need to talk to your mom, and if you think that you could, then write to me, and I'll try to find time for you on Wednesday. Okay? But that's the only day that I would be teaching a couple of students. Other than that, I will be back to teaching after January 3rd. Mwah! Okay. Be good. Okay, thank, thank you, Eugene. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye.